Come on, let's just welcome Pastor Jensen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean. I, I'm so honored to be here tonight. I'm so proud of your faith and your Jesus that shines through you and this amazing team. I don't know if you understand how powerful what we're doing is right now. But in Job chapter 36, I'll, I'll preach seven minutes if you'll give me seven minutes. In Job chapter 36, this is what it says. It says, who can understand the spreading of the clouds, and here's an important phrase, and the noise of his tabernacle. Job, Job compares the clouds accumulating to the noise that happens in the tabernacle with musical instruments, with shouts of praise. And then if you look at that text, he even goes into detail and he tells you how clouds are formed. Here's how clouds are formed. The sun shines down. It hits bodies of water. And those waters, bodies of water, give off invisible vapors that ascend up into the heavens and they, they condense and they get heavier and heavier. And the more vapors that go up from the shining of the sun, the more invisible vapors go up, the thicker the clouds get until finally the clouds cannot contain in heaven what is supposed to come down. And suddenly the rain begins to fall. And he said, if you want to know what the noise of the tabernacle or praise and worship is all about, you have to understand it's about rain. Then in, his, then in Zechariah 14, the prophet said, and it shall be that the families that do not go to the temple in worship, they shall have no rain. No worship, no rain. Little worship, little rain. Rain represents the Holy Spirit. Rain represents righteousness. Rain represents revival. Rain represents miracles, signs and wonders. Rain is what we need in America and in this world. All right, now let me teach you something. I'm almost there where I want to be. There are nine expressions of worship, nine in the Bible, that are invisible vapors that create clouds. Three of them are done with your mouth. The Bible said, speak your praise. In other words, get a praise phrase. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I love you, Lord. That's a praise phrase. And you don't just think about it and love him in your heart, but you're supposed to open your mouth and vocalize and verbalize. And when you say praise the Lord, you can't see it, but an invisible vapor just went up into the heavens. Everybody get a praise phrase and say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, get a praise, send them up. Thousands of invisible praise vapors are going up. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so one of the vapors that you do is you speak the praise. And then he said, sing your praise. That's exactly what we've been doing. It's biblical. Sing unto the Lord. And then Psalms 47 said, shout your praise. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Glory! We love you, Jesus. Name above every name. We love you, Jesus. All right, now stop. And then there are, there, that's the first three. The next three expressions of praise are done with your hands. He said to lift up holy hands. Now, when you lift your hands, you can't see them coming off my fingertips. But there's invisible vapors when I begin to worship God with my hands. God loves to see your hands because you have a, thumbprint that nobody else has and your praise matters and it's different from the thousands that are raising their hands. And it's an invisible thing. He said lift your hands. And then the Bible said clap your hands all you people. There go, come on everybody, like this. 
That's invisible vapors. They're going up. They're going up in Washington, D.C. And if nothing goes up, nothing comes down. But the more that goes up, the more that comes down. One more, one more. Hold on, hold on. He said, lift your hands. Clap your hands. That's why when people say, well, I'm not a charismatic. I'm not a Pentecostal. Praise is not a Pentecostal thing. Praise is not a charismatic thing. Praise is a Bible thing. And let everything that has breath praise the Lord in Washington, D.C. tonight. This is not about your denomination. This is about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And He's worthy of our praise. Now stop. Let me finish. There are three more expressions of praise. And, and you bless me tonight dancing. That dance, it was not under man, it was under the Lord. It reminded me, I thought about David bringing the Ark of the Covenant. And the Bible said the, the last three expressions of praise that become invisible vapors is the Bible said, stand in His presence and praise Him. And even while your legs are getting tired and the, you amazing people by the tens of thousands standing in the rain worshiping God, vapors, every minute you've been standing, vapors have been going up. And then the Bible said, praise Him, prostrate, laying out before Him. And there's times that we do that or kneeling and your whole body becomes a vapor. But she demonstrated it and David backed it up when he said, I'll dance before the Lord with all of my might. And when you begin to dance and leap, every part of your being sends vapors up. Now here's the point. As you send the vapors up, the clouds get thick and the rain falls. And here's what you need to understand. I'm, I'm down to my last three minutes. I was, I was with an old man of God who's gone on to be with the Lord. His name was Norval Hayes and he was a faith preacher. And he said something to me in a swimming pool that we were in one time. He said, Jensen, did you know that demons can't swim? He said, demons can't swim. And I thought, he's a little flaky. What's he talking about? And he reminded me of the story in Mark chapter 5 where the demoniac that had 2,000 demons and Jesus cast the demons out and the Bible said they went into the pigs and the pigs jumped into the sea and they drowned. And he said, Jensen, demons like dry places. That's why the devil came in the wilderness to Jesus. That's why the Bible said when you cast the Spirit out, send it to the dry places because demons like dry services and dry worship and dry preachers and dead dry religion. And the reason the devil hates this kind of worship is because when the rain begins to fall, suddenly out of your belly will flow rivers of living water and demons can't swim. America needs a washing. America needs a river. America needs rain. America needs rain. So send up the worship. Send up the praise. Send up the shouts and give Him glory.